Hey guys, what's up? Seven here, and uh, today we're doing a art sleeve review. It's the same, I just have two packages. But before we get started, as per usual, this ep this episode, episode, this video, along with my streams and all my other content, is brought to you by Raise Energy. You need energy drinks. You need pre workout. You need sleep stuff. You need vitamins to help you focus. They've got you covered. Uh, you can just go to Rep Sports, that's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com, and then use code SNEAKY, S-N-E-E-K-Y, at checkout for 15% off your order. Now, main point of business today. I'm going to be talking about these Atrix Double Mat Sleeves. I got these from my local GameStop. Uh, I paid $5 for a 100-pack, so I spent $10. Got 200 sleeves. And uh, they look pretty nice. I haven't taken them out of the package. As you can still see, they're still in their cellophane. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Just kind of give you guys my first impressions. Because as you can see, the both packages I have are still in their cellophane. So I have not used them at all. And I, did, I do have some cards that I'm going to put in the sleeves. It's three copies of the D&D &D Evolving Wilds. Because I like, I like the card. Um... Ooh, these sleeves have a nice texture to them. They but they're, they feel really slick. So I don't know how good that's going to feel. Um, am I open them the wrong way? I'm opening them the wrong way. I was like, why aren't they opening? Uh, let's go ahead and get them in there. Do I have any foils readily accessible? I do. I have a foil mount. That's another thing I want to check is whether or not it, uh, Kills the vibrancy of a foil. As you can see, it is a foil Zendikar Mountain. So, here we are. We got all four of our cards in the sleeves. They feel nice in the hands, in all honesty. They're, like I said, they're a bit slick. I don't know if my camera will be able to pick it up. I kind of see it. There's texture to the back, so it's not like a completely smooth. It's like a mix between an Ultra Pro Eclipse and like a Dragon Shield. Um, so it's kind of like it's got a little bit of texture. Um, yeah, one thing I was worried about. They are a bit slick. Um, so see if I can demonstrate it here. I mean, your deck might fall over pretty easily, so you might have to keep an eye on that. Um, it also really doesn't kill the, uh, the vibrancy. You can see that lightning bolt going through those floating rocks is still pretty vibrant. You can still see a lot of the colors on here. Um, but yeah, for $5, you know, if your local GameStop has them, I would recommend getting them. Um, I don't know how well they hold up. I looked at the reviews online last night before I went in to buy them today. Uh, just, I'm recording this on the 15th. It'll probably go up on the 15th. But uh, they said that they handle fine. I mean, on the box itself, it says strong, sturdy seams. I don't really feel like tearing one open because I don't want to damage them. <laughs> because I actually do kind of like these. Um, it's not going to be something like these. This is, I want to say, yeah, this is an Ultra Pro sleeve from a few years ago. This is when uh, these sleeves were dirt cheap. And I can show you why. This, go do the seam test. No effort. No effort to separate the two pieces. So, yeah, um, but sleeve technology has come a long way since then, because obviously these were ones that, like, you didn't want to buy. I got these, um, I actually bought these back when I started, around kind of when I started playing a lot, so probably around 2018, 2017. I've had these for a few years, and I just kind of use them to hold, uh, cards that I pull out of packs. So, I mean, I've got, let's see... Got this Ultra Pro Eclipse. I'm gonna say it's an Eclipse. I really don't want to damage it. 
Yeah, it's my only green one. Let's give it a pull here. Got a little bit of a, of a tear, but yeah, I had to work a lot harder to get that one going. But yeah, I would say these actually this is a dragon shield silver. Texture's a little bit different. But I mean, other than that, no, no, just make me look at the back side of the. Yeah, uh, I think these are going to be good sleeves. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the Savenulite Temple card. Kind of silly. Um, it's an old card, it's a Chromium deck. But yeah, um, obviously, I your results may vary. Um, kind of how these go. With this being like a four and a half star rated product, actually, while I'm talking about this, I'll pull it up for you. Um, with it being a pretty high rated product, I can pretty much say that this is going to be. Yeah, well, I'll say four and a half. It's about 4.1 stars. Yeah, 4.1 stars. Um, with the majority of the uh, majority of the ratings coming from uh, five stars. There is four one star reviews, but I think that's just because they got the bad batches um, from the factory. Because a lot of them are saying that. They were good. They were good sleeves. Um, yeah, one person was even saying that it works as well as the Ultra Pros. Like I said, I just got these today. I don't even have a full deck sleeved in them yet. I am actually working on two decks at the moment. Um, so I do plan on doing stuff with that. I do plan on probably putting them in these. And I might do a revisit here in the next couple months or something. Just to kind of see um, how they work, you know? Because I mean, right now they feel quality. Like I said, I don't want to damage them. Because <laughs> um, I only have 200 and I want to put them in two decks. I mean, technically I can't pull two because it would be 99 cards. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a pull test on one. Oh, wow. Yeah, it took, a, it took a decent amount of force to do the pull test. But, I mean, they're not going to be as strong as your Ultra Pros, because Ultra Pro, they have, I think, the strongest. But, yeah. All right, that is pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on some of the on some other stuff. You guys can skip this part if you don't want to. But, built a new deck. Kiru, uh, the Volatile. Pretty cool, Elder Dragon. Uh, it's a dragon deck, obviously. Um, I also put it in Pokemon Sleeve. Call me call me all the names you want in the comments. Um, I think that's the only new deck. I will probably be doing a deck tech. <laughs> deck tech. I don't think you want to follow those deck tech. Oh, my Chromium, the mutable deck. This is... I can come out of the thing. Chromium. It's another Elder Dragon. Uh, he's pretty cool. This is a promo, pre-release promo, as you can maybe see. Right. Ooh, I did it backwards. Right there. That's a promo. I don't remember where I got it, but it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of all I've got for you guys today. Just a sleeve review, small little update on some of my decks. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me if you guys are going to buy any of these sleeves. And uh, just kind of tell me about them. Like I said, I didn't know about them until last night when I was looking on GameStop.com. So, yeah. just Also, just tell me your favorite sleeves. Favorite sleeves. Uh, favorite magic cards, too. It doesn't have to be the best card. Just, what's your favorite? I mean, my favorite is Anhava Township. That card is stupid. And tell me your favorite color combination. I just want to kind of uh, know what you guys are thinking, you know? My favorite now is Naya. 
It used to be Abzan, now it's Naya. All right, I will stop waffling now, <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.